Hey folks, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here. So I've been meaning to do this video for a while. This is the review of the Spes AP Light Jacket. Um, so I mentioned it in my review of the Purple Heart Armory, Economy, Forearms and Elbows, and Forearms as well, as well as the um, PBT Warrior Mask and Overlay. But this is finally the review for the Spes AP Light. So before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not being paid for this review by any means. And also, as a full disclaimer, this is my first and only HEMA jacket, so I don't really have great comparisons. Um, but let's get started. So overall, I really, really like this jacket. Um, I fought in a tournament in it, and I'll put some videos up there of some of my fights. Um, and I've used it extensively in class as well. Um, what I like about it, actually, number one, best point is that Whatever material this is on the inside, this actually keeps me very cool. I've sparred in some very hot days and multiple sessions and stuff like that, and it keeps me very cool. It also doesn't get smelly super, super easily, honestly. Um, I have washed it once after the tournament, just as that's probably a good first time to wash my jacket. Um, but it doesn't really get smelly that easily either. So whatever material this is, is really nice for keeping me cool and feeling light. Um, on to, let's get on to the fit. So I did order the fitted option with custom measurements. So we have the zipper here. And comes all the way up here. And it's also no problem if you're wearing a gorget or anything like that. I wear a gorget all the time. And it can zip all the way up even with the gorget on. And then we have this Velcro flap here around the neck. So this hides the zipper entirely. And then we have this strap on the back that we can pull to cinch up the waist. And now I've got a pretty nicely form-fitting jacket with my chest protector under here. Um, the only thing that I would say is I might order it a couple centimeters longer. I feel like the length, I went a little bit short, but uh, it's it's totally fine. Um, so other things about the fit. The elbows are cut in, so they have an angle, and when I take off the jacket, you'll be able to see it. Um, and the shoulders come in a little bit further than some other garments. Check out. my historical arming garment. You can see that the elbows are cut in that way as well. So the upper arm, the stitching is one way, the lower arm is the other way, and the shape of the elbow is in. And these, the shoulder piece comes very, very far in on this. Not quite as much on this, but it does come in to some extent. So let's just talk about protection a little bit, because some people are concerned with, is this good enough for longsword? Um, that is primarily what I do. And I have taken some bruises and stuff like that, but nothing terrible. On, honestly, I don't even wear hard forearm guards at the time because I don't really like my purple heart ones and I'm waiting until I find something else that I like. And I do occasionally get something that hurts a little bit on the forearm, but it's never been anything serious. Um, especially if you're wearing a chest protector, there should be no issue. I mean, like getting, you'd have to come all the way around to the side of the ribs here to have anything bad happen. Um, and they also have foam inserts, which I'll show you in a second. I took all of them out because I wear the chest protector. But if you have the foam inserts in, I can't imagine that uh, other jackets would be that, that much more protected. So when you look inside the jacket, there are these little pockets with Velcro over them. And I can put a plate in. This, it's not really, it's not a hard plate, but you could have ones made if you wanted to, I suppose. Um, but these are just foam inserts and you just tuck that in. I'm not going to bother. It, it does fit in all the way. And you just have to kind of wiggle it in there a little bit better. And then the same thing on the right side as well. Uh, it's cut slightly differently, but it's, it's the same idea. And you'll also see in, um, right here on this outer edge of the left hand side. That actually ends up being sort of the center of the jacket when you zip it up. And uh, they have an extra layer of protection 
for that as well. Once again, I don't feel this necessary since I had since I'm wearing the hard chest protector. Um, and that's just something that my club does. Honestly, in this region, I think most people kind of go with the chest protector in general anyways. Um, but if you didn't have one, this would offer pretty good protection. It also has these foam shoulder inserts, which um, you can kind of see where they go on the outside of the jacket, uh, kind of in this little circle here. Um, I might put these back in. I'm not sure yet. Because uh, that's a place where I don't have hard protection. My gorget kind of comes out to the collarbone. But it's also not a place that you get hit very often because you have two hands on the sword and it's pretty easy to defend that area. I did, however, take one pretty nasty hit where uh, we were kind of in a grapple and hands were high and I was taking my left hand off the sword to try to do something. And the other guy kind of came down and back at the same time and hit me square in the shoulder. Not really intentionally, but it hurt. It wasn't a serious injury or anything, but it left a, left a pretty nice bruise for a while. Okay, so main points to take away. Um, the material keeps you nice and cool and doesn't get that smelly. The fit is fantastic, particularly if you order the custom sizing option. And, um, you know, it's you get a lot of room in the elbows and the shoulders to move. I've felt no restrictions in movement whatsoever. Um, also, while you're getting custom sizing options, you might as well get a sweet color, right? Right? Um, <laughs> so the fit is good, the inner material is good, and I think the protection is actually very good for a light jacket as well, and I have no problems wearing this in longsword sparring. I've uh, heard other people say that with the foam inserts especially, that it's at least as good as the standard AP, if not a little bit better. That said, if you're particularly adverse to getting beat up a little bit, or you're in a club or region that swings a lot harder, then maybe it's not a great investment. I'm not totally sure, but for me, this is more than enough protection, and I actually couldn't really imagine too much better of a jacket with it being my first one and not having anything to compare to, but still, it doesn't leave me wanting for anything. I highly recommend it personally. Um, there are other people with video reviews on this jacket. Federico Malagudi just posted one. Matt Easton posted one a long time ago. So you can go check those out if you want. I'll link Federico's below and also the site to purchase this. I got it from Purple Heart Army, so that's where I'm going to link to, but there are other places you can get it from as well. Okay, thank you all so much for coming by the channel. Um, please click like, subscribe. Please leave any questions or comments below. Uh, I love to hear what you all have to say. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at CorrugatedCavil1. Please share this around if you think anybody might find it useful. Be good to each other and ciao.